All right, it's time to get started with the functional update. And that don't work. There we go. All right. Uh, welcome to the uh, Prometheus team functional update. Uh, I'm Ben Kochi on the the. Uh, lead for the team. Uh, we have Joshua, uh, Jose, Mike, and Paul on our team, and we also have two contractors, Kevin and Ulus. Um, uh, we spent some uh, time in, on 10.0 to try and get us to InfluxDB feature parity um, and worked on um, uh, worked on that a bit, uh, but that's still uh, not complete yet because we've been having quite a lot of problems with our Ruby gem uh, that is causing it to be not uh, not stable. So we could definitely use some help. Um, part of the thing going on with uh, getting this work done has been the fact that uh, Powell has been out sick for the last few weeks. So we've been making uh, only a small amount of progress since we've been trying to keep him uh, uh, from working and, and recovering instead of um, stressing himself out more uh, and continuing to stay sick. So uh, we did ship in 10.0 uh, application performance metrics. So this allows uh, 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 application metrics instead of just uh, system metrics for, uh, uh, for things like uh, this example of, of HTTP re request throughput. Uh, coming up in 10.1, uh, we're going to, uh, because Powell has been out, uh, we're going to focus on stability and bug fixes, uh, uh, stabilizing the Ruby library, and dealing with some front-end uh, display issues. Uh, uh, Prometheus in production, uh, we removed the systemd unit state metrics from the, from the production service. Uh, for GitLab.com. This now uh, reduced the amount of overhead uh, on the Prometheus server by about 25%, uh, which was uh, quite, a, quite a lot of data for not a lot of utility. And that's it. That's a very short update today. Uh, what does InfluxDB feature parity uh, mean? Uh, basically, uh, we currently have a bunch of metrics that we get out of the uh, GitLab CE uh, Rails libraries. Those uh, metrics are going to be deprecated uh, as soon as we have uh, all of these same metrics available in, in the Prometheus library. Um, for right now, we don't have that. Uh, uh, because the Ruby library is not quite stable, so we're we have not been able to officially deprecate the InfluxDB metrics. Yeah, Mike. It's, it's yes, as Ben that is just basically um, uh, Influx is is the older way that we had metrics in GitLab. Uh, uh, GitLab as being like uh, it exporting information about itself, um, and so uh, we've been converting over to Prometheus. Um, we, we obviously feel it's a better solution for a variety of reasons, um, and uh, we've been going through and making sure we have um, parity for uh, all the monitoring capabilities that were in the previous method, uh, Influx, um, that are also in Prometheus. That way we can deprecate the old one um, and plow ahead on the new Prometheus features. Uh, it is worth noting that, you know, it's not like we have a subset right now. We also have things in Prometheus that were never available on Influx as well. Um, so we're just making sure we cover our bases and make sure that uh, we, uh, um, add everything that was previously possible along with all the new stuff we've done. This will also help us run and operate GitLab.com obviously as well. Um, so this is important for uh, that as well. Any other questions? 
Yeah, the uh, just in the, add a little more color on the on the customer side and the application side as well. So um, we we did a lot of work on the uh, front end charts, uh, as you may have seen in that in that one little screenshot there. Um, so um, some of the look and feel has changed a little bit, and we added support for uh, multiple series in a single chart. So before you can only have one sort of you know metric rendered on a single chart, and so we couldn't do things like um, uh, show you say like the throughput by request type. And so you couldn't see, for example, how many uh, re successful requests you had and how many perhaps errors you had on your requests. Um, and so this now allows us to chart um, multiple things uh, on the same, on the, on the same uh, uh, chart area. Uh, so um, that's really helpful for some, uh, some fields like that, um, but it also helps us lay the foundation for our canary support. Um, as we have to be able to render, obviously, the canary versus production, um, and, and we need support for rendering multi multiple uh, lines and then having you know, the legend update and things like that as well. So Jose has been working hard on that along with Mike. Um, Yob has asked, uh, do you have an idea of these uh, adoption of these features in, in, in GitLab? Yes. Uh, so um, we, we do collect those, and so it, uh, Prometheus, the number of Prometheus projects, or the number of projects with Prometheus enabled is something we track with our sort of version ping usage ping feature. Um, and so uh, we have um, an easy way to check on those and see how we're doing. Um, and basically, uh, we're right around 5,000 projects um, uh, with Prometheus enabled. Um, so that's, that's pretty good um, considering uh, back in May, uh, we started with a total of, I believe, 131. Um, and now we're uh, up over, right up at, actually over 5,000, 5,028 right now. Um, and that was actually a couple weeks old. So we actually refresh it and see what the uh, current one is. Um, yeah. So that's uh, pretty exciting. We obviously wanted to get much higher. Um, and so we could do a better job of advertising it and highlighting it within the UI to make sure folks are aware of it. Um, so uh, you know, stay tuned for that, especially as we uh, sort of round out this initial set of, of features here for uh, Prometheus monitoring. Yep. Um, any other questions? Okay, yeah, I think um, you know, I've been noted here for 10.1. Um, taking a little bit of pause on the new feature direction, just given some of the resourcing uh, challenges that we have to work with. We obviously wish Pavel all the best um, and um, to get better and focus on that. Um, in the interim, we're gonna crush some tech debt uh, and take advantage of this sort of breather uh, and pushing forward to um, polish and resolve some of, this, some of the uh, um, kind of uh, lingering minor issues that we had uh, previously. So. Um, We'll get positioned to push for their ed here well in, in 10 to. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kim says, this is where your application metrics would be if you enabled it. And I believe that's actually what the, the display says. All right, so actually, I, um, I, I re-updated I re the query. We're at 6,191 projects uh, as Ooh. of last week. So um, up and to the right. All right, any other questions? All right, thank you very much, everybody. All right, thanks.